Health economics is the study of the cost of healthcare. Um, and relate that to health outcomes. So there are people whose job title is H-E-O-R. And uh, for example here, you can see there's some title that's, for, on first look, it almost looks like hero, but it's not, it's H-E-O-R, Health Economics and Outcomes Research. And what does health economics outcome research look like and how does it work in the ophthalmology space so first i'm going to limit today's discussion just to canadian health economics research and specifically in ophthalmology and there's literally a book um, about this and um, it's just so it's on pubmed and also I'm going to just fly through a couple of chapters, but I think the most helpful one is actually a table from this book. And um, before I go into that table, so a couple questions uh, when you think about health economics is what are the different stages of a disease and how does one treatment slow down or prevent someone, a patient, moving from one stage to the next worst stage. And by preventing the patient from developing the worst outcome, how much money does it save the system? And this is a question policymakers, government wants to know is for every $100 inputted into the healthcare system, how, much, how many dollars does it save? And ideally you want to save as much as possible and later we'll talk about maybe a threshold. So let's look at this table. So this is table 48 from that book. And it goes into um, how much sort of doctors are paid and different tests. But let's skip to this part. So first, it divides disease into mild, moderate, advanced, severe, and potentially death as the, the last stage. And so in House economics research, you look at, you know, if you have a new treatment or you're evaluating an existing treatment, where does it play? Does it slow down the disease or, you know, prevent a uh, more severe disease? And in so doing, um, as the disease progress, it's going to cost the healthcare system more and more. And this is trying to quantify in dollars and cents. You know, how much does the more doctor visits cost? How much does the more testing cost? And how much does the more medications the patient's going to need cost at a later dis disease state? And if you say a treatment can prevent it from getting there, how much dollar does it save the system? And then you look at how much does it cost to implement this treatment? How much is the cost on the doctors? How much is the surgery? How much, um, you know, is the, yeah, how much is OHIP going to pay? for this treatment. So that's where health economics comes in and it's really what um, helps decide on policies and what drug to be included in the public insurance system or not. And I believe this book is literally, I think there's someone from Ottawa in this. So there's some government guidance on, you know, how are disease de determined, de defined, and what are the stages defined and what dollar values to, to, to put in. One term that comes, comes up is called ICER, which is uh, incremental cost. So if your outcome is quality of life years, so if your treatment saves the pa helps the patient live longer, and if you can, based on research, figure out how many more years the patient's going to be able to gain, how many quality years um, patients are going to be able to gain and then you look at per each year how much cost um, is involved in the treatment so your treatment might be a one-time surgery might be chronic use of a eye drop or a, a medication and so you're saying you know for each year the patient's going to gain um, how much treatment dollars are you going to spend so the icr comes out as a dollar value so you could say 
you know, for four thousand dollars per quality life years, that's an acceptable level. And actually, in Canada, I think the 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 acceptable level is about fifty thousand dollars. So,、um, you know, the government's willing to spend up to fifty thousand dollars per quality of life year gains for a patient, and not more than that. And obviously, if you can only spend a hundred dollars and help a patient gain one more year of quality of life, whether it's better vision, whether it's living through that year, you know, whether it's a no no sort of stroke during that year.、Um, So this just helps able to compare against different treatments if they're all matched to a dollar value per unit of outcome, and the the common outcome is quality life years. So anyway, so ICER. So yeah, if you can have a treatment that end up having you know a result of ICER of five thousand dollars per quality of life years, then You can apply, see if it, you can get that covered under public insurance, healthcare. Anyway, this is a, a sort of a basics intro into health economics research.、Um, if you have more on how to do this, if you know more on this, or you want to have questions, put them down in the comments below. That's been it. Thanks.